Hello friends, welcome to another video on my YouTube channel and in this video you will learn how to connect your existing Dialogflow CX agent to WhatsApp through Twilio. We will be using Twilio API to receive and send messages to WhatsApp. In this video you will also learn how to use GCP cloud storage to store voice notes so that we can send voice messages to our WhatsApp. The code that I'm going to show you in this video is available on my GitHub and the link for it is in the description of this video. So the first thing is that let's first understand the flow of what we are building. So a user sends message on WhatsApp that will be received by Twilio. We will create a webhook. Twilio will send the request on our webhook. With the help of Dialogflow CX API, we detect the intent of the input query, generate response from Dialogflow, and we receive our text response. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how you can send only voice note of the response, but you can also send text messages. In order to send voice notes, we will first use OpenAI TTS, that is text to speech, and convert the response from Dialogflow CX to audio note. And in order to send a audio note, we will need a public URL of that audio. That's why we are going to save it on GCP cloud storage, get the public URL of the audio note and then send the audio note back to the user. So this is our flow. Now here in the code, what I need to do first, I need to do npm i to install all the required dependencies. Once it is done, this uh, application is built for GCP cloud functions. We need to run the cloud function using this line. So this line says that function target, which is webhook. So my function target is webhook. Then npx Google cloud functions framework. So when I hit enter, it will run the function and if I click here, you will see that we got OK response. Now, in order to expose my local environment to internet, I will open a new terminal and I will expose my ng rock on 8080 port. And when I click here, hopefully, yeah, we see OK response. Now, let me walk you through the code. So the code has few things. First, we need some environment variables, uh, Twilio SID, Twilio auth token that you will get from your Twilio project. This from when you are using WhatsApp sandbox on Twilio, this number is gonna be same. Then you will need open AI API key. After that, you need to go to GCP console and once you go there, you need to select the project on which you want to work and then download the service account credential from uh, IAM uh, and service. Oh, I clicked on API service. I man, meant IAM and service and then service account. From this, you can download the service account credential. And if you run here, uh, cloud storage, you will redirect it to cloud storage. You need to create a bucket. Make sure you uh, make it public so that, you know, all the information on that bucket can be utilized. So once you do these things, download service account credential, create a bucket, you will get uh, these things. 
service account json file uh, dialogflow cx agent id and agent location for that you need to head over to dialogflow and if you see here in the url there is location so the string followed by the slash and before the slash is your location and next to the agent keyword there is agent id once you get these information you are good to go and i think there is one more yeah cloud storage bucket name i forgot to put it here in the env example file so once you got this information you are good to go so in constant.js file i read all the environment variables next in dialogflow api js i use a few of the constant and i detect the intent of my dialogflow agent then in gcp storage i upload the file on gcp cloud storage and get the public url next i have open ai uh, js api js file here i use text to speech endpoint and create audio from a text then i have this twilio api here i have this send twilio message so i use twilio package to send message on a whatsapp number now i have this index js which is express application uh, these are some configuration just to make sure everything in the request is understood by the application then i have two route home route and twilio route so home route is just to make sure that everything works the okay response uh, when we ran the application was from here next i have twilio route so this twilio route receives incoming request from twilio we process the request first detect the intent uh, convert the text to speech store the speech or the audio on gcp and send message back to twilio so now since we understood the application and the structure of the application let's see it working so this is the url so i'll copy this url i'll head over to twilio and in the messaging write out send a whatsapp message i'll connect it to my sandbox and here the route is twilio and i think webhook but let me make sure yeah so you can see here uh, twilio slash webhook so i'll say twilio slash webhook and i'll save this and in order to use the sandbox you need to send you know a phrase which is unique for your application to this number so i'll do that so i come here and i'll say join byte determine i guess yeah you can see that now i am connected to my twilio sandbox and yeah you can see i'm connected to my twilio sandbox if i say hi here you'll see that now the request will first come here you can see this is the request and we have generated a response this is a sample response which was converted into audio which was then pushed to gcp cloud storage and we sent that public url to the user and if i come here you will see that i have yeah this is a sample response and you will wondering how why this is you know this is sample re response uh, and how it is coming so it is coming from my dialog flow if i go to my start page and default intent you will see that uh, my response is yeah this is a sample response i'll remove that and i'll say hi how can i help you today and when i add this and save first let me make sure that it works here in the simulator 
so when i say hi yeah you will see that hi how can i help you today so if i come here and say hi you will see again that yeah hi kim so the response we detected then converted the text to audio then push the text on gcp cloud storage and if i come here yeah so this is uh, how you can connect your uh, dialog flow cx to whatsapp through twilio i hope you have gained some knowledge out of this video before i wrap up i'll do a shameless promotion that i have a chatbot community here i you know teach about different technologies on chatbots and the sessions are free so if you wish to connect to me you can you know connect me through this uh, community and the link to join the community is in the description of this video next uh, in case you want to learn about google dialog flow and how to build google dialog flow chatbot then i have a fresh new course master google dialog flow uh, build smart chatbots on udemy you can check it out uh, the link of this course is also in the description and finally uh, the code i have used is available on my github and the link for it is in the description as well i hope uh, you have enjoyed the content and if you do so please consider subscribing to my channel that helps thank you for watching peace